Welcome to Sushi Chill and Grill. My name is Jan, and this is what we're gonna make today. Super crunchy air fryer chicken tenders. Take two eggs and whisk them or beat them until thoroughly combined. We're gonna use some plain flour, but we're gonna do something with it. We're adding smoked paprika, two teaspoons, and two teaspoons of garlic powder, some black pepper, and some MSG. Now give this all a good mix. Let the flour and the spices become friends. We're also gonna use some panko. But I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it. That will just give it some extra flavor. You can mix this by hand. Now, this is ready. We're gonna use some chicken breasts. And I used about 800 grams of chicken. And just slice them in half. Or maybe in three parts. It depends on the size of the chicken breast. But this will do just fine. And I think they will roughly have a size of 2 cm wide. Now, let's start the process. Our beaten egg, our spice party mix, and our panko. First, grab yourself a chicken and dip it in the egg. Now in the flour. Bag in the egg mixture and into the panko. And do this with all the chicken. Really give them a good coating. And when you're done, it looks something like this. They look already amazing. And you can really smell the smoked paprika so delicious. Grab yourself the basket of the air fryer and put in about four pieces of chicken. And I have a small air fryer so if you have a big one you can maybe put it all in. But I had to do it in batches. I also gonna spray them with a little bit of olive oil just to give that some extra flavor but also they will become crispier. Now, this will go in for about 6 minutes on 200 degrees. Now, the 6 minutes are over, look at that. They're already a little bit crispy. Now, we're also gonna do the other side. And then our chicken tenders will be done. And here they go, for another 6 minutes on 200 degrees. Now, we're gonna make a sauce. Just a simple one. We're gonna add some fat-free yogurt. And it's about 200 grams. We're also gonna add some mayo. And some honey. But you also can do some sugar. And some dill. And this is uh, dried dill, but you can use fresh dill if you want. Some garlic powder and some freshly chopped chives. Now give this all a good mix. And I made this recipe before on the channel, so look it up. It's called the dill sauce and it's absolutely amazing. It goes so well with lots of dishes and oh man for barbecue season that sauce is absolutely amazing. Now it's almost ready and put it in the fridge for now. Now look at those tenders. They look amazing and they're so crispy oh yes crispy crunchy chicken tenders oh yes I like those let's plate and when it comes to plating I didn't have any idea how to do this so I just try to stack them up put them on a beautiful plate but that uh, didn't work out very well but hey those are gone within minutes. Now put on the sauce and let's hear how crunchy and crispy they are. Mm. 
Now that sounds crunchy to me and they're so moist, oh yes, very good. Dip it in the sauce and then... Oh yes, very crunchy, very delicious. Thank you for watching, I hope you like my crunchy chicken. And as always, see you next time. If you're new, I hope you subscribe to my channel, give it a like and leave me a comment.